Hello everybody, my name is Arika and this is my tutorial on the engineer class. This is just one setup among many, um, the one I generally use. But well, let's start with the basics. So yeah, this is the ship and the layout really alters and, and changes from what ship you use. This just happens to be my favorite ship and therefore the one I'm showing you. So this right here is the main engine. Uh, we got two extra engines down here. It's important to keep these guys up. Uh, but even more important is the hull. This is what determines the health. The white health displayed above the orange health is like a shield. You, you can heal that when it goes down. But the, the orange health is permanent health. So once your your white shield goes away, uh, it's it'll start depleting your orange health, which is the actual health of your ship. So keep this up. That is a main priority as an engineer. Then on this this ship we have four guns, and these comes with different ammunition. You right click to zoom in. You can reload and press right one and two to change. Uh, ammo types uh, you'll see there's a cannon type here and then there's the special type of ammo that I have equipped which I believe gives me one more round yeah it does uh, but then there's also a little more spread I think uh, but anyways you won't be using the guns a whole lot as your prime objective is to fix stuff up here we have the balloon and two extra guns and uh, well the balloon and the hull are the two most important things to keep up and running because the balloon if taken down your ship will start falling you can still use the engines though but you can only steer yourself away from from hitting uh, structures on the ground uh, once the hull goes down it'll be it'll be completely over you always want to keep these two components your main priorities uh, one thing that i recommend is um, assigning areas of effect for instance one engineer down here on the bottom floor who's responsible of primarily the hull the three back engines and then these two guns and then one engineer up here at least that's an, a setup I've run with who's in charge of the balloon and then also shooting one of the main guns here because that way you can both keep you can both keep your damage per second high and you can also keep your balloon alive and, and keep uh, this here uh, hall uh, pr a primary objective. But yeah, let me show you some of the equipment on this class. Now when you see the layout and how things work here. Uh, oh yeah, I guess there's one more thing I should show you. So if fire arises... Uh, you gotta put it out and the engineers are the only one who can do that so you'll see here that this has four fire This chemical spray only takes out three fire. You have a fire extinguisher though that takes out four fire So that's quite useful uh, But this one it's not really meant for taking out fires. It's actually more meant for um, taking out uh, or um, pre-applying this uh, chemical spray uh, if you see someone approaching you with like a flamethrower of some sort because that way you can prepare yourself before it actually goes wrong so you'll see here the engine is protected and I'll just activate some fire again stuff will go on fire again I just fixed it but this here engine is all fine because I applied chemical spray it works for 20 seconds uh, but I want to show you some of the other equipment uh, this is just some among many oh yeah uh, so if something is all the way damaged you see it's red here uh, what you want to do is use the wrench I've seen a lot of new people who's playing the game playing this game who uses the robber mallet but look at that five hits what six hits to get it to a quarter health but if you use this wrench it'll go way faster two hits per quarter it seems uh, approximately and then when that's done instead of fixing it, with the wrench still, which will take a lot of time, you can just hit it once with the rubber mallet. The rubber mallet fixes a lot of health, but there's a long cooldown time on it. Um, you don't have to spam uh, fix stuff. You, you only spam when it's all the way down like this, when it's totaled. 
But look at this. When I heal it now, it'll go all the way up to full health by using the Rob Ronalit. So you gotta keep that in mind. And there's also some different tools I can show you in a second. Okay. Also, you see here one of the engines out. You gotta make sure that doesn't happen. Always keep at least two engines running. I'd say the left and right engine are the most important. And then afterwards the main engine because that seems to only really give you throttle whereas these engines they can make you turn okay let's show you some other equipment I'm sorry if, I'm sorry if this is a little longer than you expected I'll be right back okay so here is another layout uh, this role I call the buff kit um, because this is not really good it's good it's not good equipping this setup if you if your main priority is just fixing but if for instance you are a gunner in the setup I showed you before and you only really have to uh, to fix the uh, balloon I'd recommend going with the other kit I had before but this kit is good if you were the the guy to stay uh, down there and fix the engines and keep the hull up and all that because look at this the Dynabuff Industries kit okay this thing is just I think it's overpowered, but it just wh whatever uh, part of the ship you hit with this thing, it it doesn't fix it, but instead it buffs it. So if you hit the engines, 25% extra power. That means you meet you move faster. The guns, they'll have 20% more damage. The hull, it'll have 30% more ammo, and the balloon will have less vertical drag and more lift force. So basically, this means you become faster you become more maneuverable you become stronger and you get more uh, ammo or armor <laughs> sorry about that it's it's morning um, and then I recommend instead of going with either the wrench or the robber mallet I take something in between you see this doesn't repair a lot of health it has a low cooldown and has a huge rebuilding power this repairs a lot of health has a high cooldown but doesn't have a lot of rebuild power this thing is the golden standard this thing is like a, a, a good in-betweener because it heals uh, you know three times as much health as the shifting spanner and then it has half the cooldown of the robber mallet and it has double the repair or the rebuild power as the robber, robber mallet so it's kind of like in between these two guys um, so I'd recommend taking that so you can still fix things and you can still repair them fully even when they're taking all the way down uh, then this is the regular fire extinguisher I'd actually recommend going with this most times but since most people are very aggressive in this game you can usually see when they have a flamethrower and that's why I was using the chemical spray so I can apply it before the fire starts uh, but yeah, this is a great setup. I advise you use this only if you are on comms with the other engineer. That means if you're on Skype with him, just talking or typing to him in general so you know what your role is. This is not good to take if you're just going to pop with matches. This is a kit if you're playing with friends. But let's see, see how this works out. Okay, so here we are with the different kit, or as I call it, the buffer kit. And let me just disable these guys. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Okay, so you'll see what I'm talking about by buffing here. So this engine is now going 20% faster. And this lasts for I don't remember how long time. But you really gotta keep these buffs going. Uh, I remember. Um, seems you only have to get it up half full. Approximately. Oh. Yeah, okay, so you can hit it three times extra, you can't get it all the way up, um, but it's better It's better to have it that way because then when the right side runs out, then the left start, side will start running out, but it, it actually keeps working for quite a long time. I'd say buffing the hull as, as well as fixing the hull is your primary objective as an engineer, and you should always keep it up, always. And you know, you can go back and forth with this buffing, you know, you can go back to this thing and buff it a little again. But you ba you basically, you just go around buffing stuff uh, all the time down here while you're not being damaged. And then when you start taking damage, let me show you um, a fire drill here, pressing F6. Okay, so stuff is on fire now, so let me just put it out here. 
This fire extinguisher instantly puts out any fire, unlike the fire tool I was for the chemical spray I was using before. That only took out three fire at a time, and you see here that the fire is at four. So the chemical spray would have to do that for two rounds, which is a lot of cooldown time. So a lot of times this is actually a better choice uh, going with with the buff kit. And just see this, man. You can you can buff it so much. You can really give it a lot of health. And yeah, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, then this last tool here, you can right click to zoom in, and uh, left click to uh, to spot a target. Let me just uh, make a target here. So there we have a target and it's spotted. That means that every crew member and every teammate, if there's multiple ships on your team, uh, can see it. Um, and yeah, it just makes the combat a lot easier. Uh, is there anything more I have forgotten? I don't think so. That's pretty much your roles as an engineer. Um, I recommend the standard engineer kit for you know running around up here. Uh, but I definitely recommend this engineer kit for the main engineer. Now, I usually play something like an engineer slash gunner, um, but for right here, it's it's good for the bottom floor because you can just go around buffing and you can still keep keep things alive. And you know, if shit is going the wrong way, you can um, you can just tell the other ng, hey man, uh, I need some assistance down here on the lower floor because he'll have the robber mallet to help you uh, repair stuff. So yeah, you see that these actually work quite a long time. You can also apply them to guns if you want them to do more damage. That's actually uh, quite uh, effective. Uh, you know, 20, I think, 20 or 25 percent more damage. That means a lot. Uh, that's like an extra shot if you hit with four rounds. So anyways, that is pretty much it for my engineer tutorial. Um, I'm sure I missed something, but uh, comment about that in the comment section. I will be playing this game a lot in the future. I am just absolutely in love with it. And uh, if you're lucky, you'll even see some uh, live commentaries of uh, me and the buddies playing together. Anyways, my name is Arika. I hope you like the tutorial, show some appreciation, and see ya.